Are you contemplating opening up your relationship and don't know how to talk with your partner about it? Are you confused with all the relationship styles and different choices and options that are out there? I'm Elizabeth Wood with Beyond the Bedroom, here with my friend and co-facilitator, Mim Chapman, to talk with you about our class, Exploring Relationship Options, Choosing the Relationship Style That Works Best for You and Your Partner. So I want to bring Mim on so that we can share with you what this class is going to be all about. So Mim, thanks for joining me today. And I know you have an idea that would be helpful to help our audience understand what this class is going to be all about. Thanks. I'm really looking forward to us working together. In the years that I've spent doing relationship coaching, something that has absolutely astounded me is the fact that I work with a lot of people who actually have spent more time investigating and thinking about what kind of car they want than about what kind of relationship they want. Maybe oh, their father had a Ford, but I don't know many people who think they have to have a Ford just because their father had a Ford. Uh, their choices in cars may even change as their life progresses. They may start out with a four by four for off-road camping and then migrate to a family van and at 50 decide they can now get that sports car they've always been fantasizing about. People think about what cars meet their needs? Our goals in this workshop are to help you look at the different models of relationships and what would fit your life right now. Yeah, okay. So using that metaphor of the, the car models as relationship styles, that Model T, when it was only one choice and only one option, that model no longer fits the, uh, the, the consumer today. So I love that. Yeah, what we want to do is really sort of dispel the myths around so many relationship choices. Mim and I are going to be talking about polyamory, how that different, differs from swinging, from uh, being part of the lifestyle, the kink lifestyle, the BDSM lifestyle. We're also going to talk about what it means if you choose to remain single. All of these relationship choices are going to be respected and honored. And we, what we want to do, Mim, you know, correct me if I'm wrong, we want to bring a meeting of minds so that all of us are educated about monogamy versus responsible non-monogamy. And Mim, you've written so many books on polyamory. How do your clients come to you? And what questions are all these clients asking you about the different relationship styles? Some of them come when they're not quite matched. They'll say, you know, my wife really wants to open up our relationship, and I'm not quite sure. We'd like a safe place to just toss our questions and our dreams and our fears out. Some come with me saying, we're really clear that we would open up our relationship, but what agreements do we need to make so that we both feel safe and loved and respected and free all at the same time? I've even had some that have come to say, you know, so many of our friends are poly and they're sort of saying, try it, you'll like it. And we're perfectly happy in our nice little monogamous relationship. How do we tell them this is what we want, not just what we thought was the only option? So, the biggest thing is looking inside yourself to see who you are, what your desires and your dreams are, and then figuring out how to honestly, openly communicate that with your partner and come up with something that works for both of you, knowing that whatever you choose today might change 10 years, mm. two years, or a month from yeah, now. Yeah, I, I kind of feel that, that this class offers each attendee the opportunity to thrive in their relationship styles, in their relationship choice, where I think that so many people are just surviving. And surviving is so different from thriving. We want vibrant, healthy 
wonderful, loving relationships, no matter what style they teach. Excuse me, no matter what style they choose. Absolutely. And going back to cars, no matter what car you choose, there are some basic things that you want in a car. You know, maintenance record, safety, cha-cha-cha. We're going to talk about some of the qualities that no matter what style relationship you choose are really key to keeping it juicy and vibrant and growing and honest and just to keep it working. Yeah, and those are uh, those are relationship foundations that are really, if you will, fundamental to any relationship choice. Um, what we're going to answer in the class, or what what we're hoping that the the students walk away from from our class with, is an expanded understanding of the different relationship styles, so each one can make an educated choice or, or design for that meets their own needs. Um, we want to help them develop the skills in order to talk to partners or potential partners about what works or what will work best for them. And then we want to help them really understand if, you know, Mim, let's give them a little bit of a teaser. Monogamy, we all know monogamy. We all know that monogamy is done well. And we all know when monogamy is not done well, which creates cheating and betrayal and a lack of trust. We're going to talk about responsible non-monogamy. Mim, can you say just a word or two about responsible non-monogamy? I think the first thing is that it is chosen by everyone involved, not co without coercion, and that it benefits everybody, and that it's built on absolute honesty and equality. Uh, that's what makes it different from cheating where maybe one person makes a choice and the lack of honesty hurts the other person. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the things that we're going to really emphasize is this is not a try it, you'll like it type of a class. Whatever thoughts and ideas and preferences you bring in are totally respected and equal. Uh, but we just are going to try to try on a little tour of what's out there so that you can say, Oh, I get it when my friends are talking about X, Y, Z. I'm not embarrassed to talk with them about it. And I'm perfectly comfortable talking to them about my choice. What types of people, Elizabeth, do you think will bo most benefit from coming to our class? Who's this for? Well, what we created it for is for singles who are curious about, you know, dating in the future. Should they be open? Should they remain monogamous? Should they try to dip their toes in polyamory or swinging? This is all, these are very, very personal choices. What Mim and I, you know, we're two sexuality educators. It's really important that we give out the information so that people can make really responsible choices. So I say singles. I say people who are in long-term relationships that are curious. I say threeples or moresomes, uh, as I like to refer to people in polyamorous relationships. People who are struggling with the concept of relationship in general. Those are the type of people that we want to attend the workshop. We're going to talk about some relationship biggies. And Mim, name some three trouble spots that any type of relationship gets into. And those are the things, the three of them, that we're going to discuss and help people understand that affect or afflict all relationships. So what can you say the big three are? Let's give them a teaser. Well, certainly one is communication. You know, they say... That's the biggest thing that makes a relationship work. Another is exploration, whether it's within your twosome, whether it's within your onesome. I, I know some people who have really juicy relationships with themselves, and we totally honor that choice. How can you make your relationship with yourself more juicy and vibrant? And growth. How do we keep becoming better, more loving, and more fun than we were yesterday. That's great. And then the three that I want to bring up are a little bit more conflictual in relationship. Mim and I are going to talk about jealousy and what that really means. Mim and I are going to talk about a lack of trust. And Mim and I are going to talk about so much more 
that are, are sort of trouble spots for any type of relationship. So we really hope that you'll join us. The workshop is September 24th and 25th. It's a weekend long intensive here in Boulder. And for more information, please visit www.bedevents.com and look under our event calendar where there will be a link taking you directly to the page describing so much more than Mim and I could fit in this short interview. So come join us. It's going to be potent. It's going to be fun. And it's going to be um, what's uh, experiential. So please join us. We look forward to teaching you about so much um, more than what's currently maybe on your radar screen, just monogamy or cheating. Any last words, Mim? We look forward to meeting you because we always learn from you just as much as you learn from us. Look forward to seeing you. Okay. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.